Yeah, um, but since like living with a girlfriend, we started to do this thing that I never actually thought that I'd be doing in my mid twenties. This is something I only thought like mummies and daddies did. You know, like we'll be sitting there, I turn to look at each other, like, well, we'll have a glass of wine. You know, like when the fuck did I become my man? Like I'm getting a buzz off a bottle of like Cabernet Sauvignon, like getting excited for a Friday night, sitting in watching Gogglebox. <laughs> like you do like Gogglebox, that's like one of the best programs. Someone at Channel Four was definitely hung over in a board meeting, just like oh, just yeah, just have people watching TV. That'll do. It. But it can be, you can be guaranteed, like whoever you're watching Gogglebox with, they'll turn to you, and it's usually whenever you know Mary and Marina, the old ladies from Bristol, are on. They'll turn to you and they'll say like, "That's us too, isn't it? That's ju- that's uh, that's just like us." Aye. Or they'll turn to you and say, oh, we should go on this, it'd be a laugh, wouldn't it? It'd be a laugh, us two on this. In what way would it be a laugh, us two on Gogglebox? It'd be the exact same as what we're doing now, except the entire of the UK would just be judging me about the amount of sweet and salty popcorn I eat and the amount of time my hand spends down my trousers. <laughs> but that's it, like I do, I get excited for weekends now, sitting in, like getting a takeaway on a Saturday night. Like this, it'll spark an argument, a takeaway, because my girlfriend will be like, it's your turn to get a drink. Like, I got a takeaway from the door, it's like, well, I didn't ask you to do that. What do you expect? Do you stick fucking prawn crackers through the letterbox? Like, <laughs> but like, watching like, you know, X Factor, Britain's Got Talent, like The Voice, you know, after a bottle of wine, these all become like, either 10 times worse or 10 times better. Like, at the end of Britain's Got Talent, like, whenever that golden buzzer goes, like, he deserves that so much. <laughs> like, they, they spilled over on this Sunday morning recently when Callum Scott was on uh, Sunday brunch talking about his golden buzzer moment. So I went on to YouTube, watched his golden buzzer moment, and an hour later, after watching, like, all Britain's Got Talent highlight videos, I was crying in the pillow after watching Susan Boyle's first audition. <laughs> but, like, and then The Voice as well, when Ollie Moores comes on The Voice, like, I, after a bottle of wine, I'm just slagging him off, like... What the fuck's he doing as a judge on that? He couldn't even win the X Factor. Couldn't even present the thing. Like, and then, like, Simon Cowell, like, I'll be sitting on a Saturday night just arguing with Simon Cowell on, on the X Factor. Like, curry down my top, like, arguing with him because I think, like, Sharon from Shrewsbury deserves to get through to boot camp because her granny got scammed by a Nigerian prince. Like, 